Opponents of Jeremy Corbyn, the man the pollsters say is likely to be the next Labour leader, spent quite a lot of yesterday suggesting that he was, well, what? Not personally anti-Semitic, nobody suggested that, but that he had a history of consorting with people whose views were extreme and, in some cases, unquestionably racist. Is this a slur or does he have a case to answer? Diane Abbott is the Labour MP for Hackney North and Stoke Newington and hopes to be uh, a Labour candidate for Mayor of London uh, uh, and um, uh, is a Jeremy Corbyn supporter. James Bloodworth uh, is editor of the uh, pressure group Left Foot Forward uh, and is not a supporter of Jeremy Corbyn and is on the line. Morning to you both. Morning. Um, If I could start with you James Bloodworth, what what is it that you're objecting to in what Jeremy Corbyn has said or done? Well, first of all, I just wanted to make clear that um, I don't think personally think Jeremy Corbyn has a racist or anti-Semitic uh, bone in his body. The problem is he, he continually uh, appears alongside people who, who very much do. So, for example, he attends the, the annual Al-Quds rally, which is a, a rally sponsored by the Iranian government, where you regularly hear um, chants of death to Israel. Um, he's welcomed Hamas and Hezbollah. Uh, to London as his honoured friends, and he's he's welcomed several other uh, anti-Israel and anti-Semitic activists um, to London and stood alongside them uh, on platforms. That's a fact, isn't it, Dan Abbott? Yeah. Look, the, the British political class is frozen with fear at the idea that Jeremy might actually win this leadership election. By no means certain, but the very notion of it terrifies people because the energy behind him has the power to disrupt and to change and transform politics. This is where these anti-Semitic smears come from. I would remind you that... Hang on, he's not being accused of being anti-Semitic. James Blotter has just made it very clear. This is not an accusation about Jeremy Corbyn. It's It's an accusation about the company he keeps. It's a guilt by association. And the point is this. Jeremy's been an MP for 30 years. In those 30 years, he's done thousands of meetings, rallies, memorial events. I mean, Jeremy's hyperactive. So for every one event, another left MP will do. Jeremy will do three. Now, if over those 30 years, he has been on a platform with somebody who now is is clear as an anti-Semite and, and Holocaust now, whatever it is, you know, over 30 years, given the often chaotic nature of liberation movements, that will happen. That doesn't make Jeremy a fellow traveller with anti-Semitism. James Lodworth? Well, well, first of all, I don't see how Jeremy, for example, can present a show on press TV, um, which he's done in recent years, presumably for money, um, and not be aware of what press TV is. It's the propaganda arm of the Iranian state that was banned by Ofcom from the UK. When he attends the Al-Quds rally, where you have open charts of death to Israel, I don't see how he can be unaware of the company that he's keeping. That's and the it's point. not a smear it's, campaign. It, yeah, it's a bit more, isn't it, Dan Abbott, than simply going to things where people are and he didn't know they were going to be there or didn't know what, what they thought. He, he is quite actively involved with some of these people. Press TV is an example, but he's also been involved. He's, he's written in support, written to the Church of England in support of Stephen Sizer, who's a, a vicar, to put it mildly, an eccentric man who th- thinks that Israel was behind 9-11. I mean, this, these are associations that he has chosen to have. Yes, but we're t- looking at 30 years and we're plucking incidents out of a very long career. If you get involved with liberation movements, there will be points at which you're involved in, you know, there will be people around who are less than savoury. The anti-apartheid movement, not everyone in the anti-apartheid movement was an angel, but people that supported the liberation struggle in South Africa were on the side of the angels. Ireland, which is another issue people complain about with Jeremy. Jeremy always argued that the way to resolve the situation in Northern Ireland was through negotiation and that involved talking to the IRA. He was proved to be right. People who claim that you could just crush the IRA militarily were wrong on these big liberation issues. More often than not, Jeremy has been right and his critics have been wrong. James Lawrence? Well, first of all, Hamas aren't a liberation movement. I mean, if, the, if there's a liberation movement in Palestine, surely it's Fatah. And fa- members of Fatah have been murdered by members of Hamas. Hamas wants to create a Sharia state where homosexuals, where women uh, are repressed. This isn't liberation politics. Similarly, with the Iranian regime, um, groups like Hezbollah. These are not liberation groups. 
um, to, and to, to, to pretend that they are, I just think, is, is completely delusional. Yeah, well, and this, this isn't a smear campaign on the part of people like myself. Isn't it legitimate, uh, Dan Abbott, to say, look, you, you, you think about who you're going to appear with. Um, you, you think in advance about who those people are and you take a decision based on what you know that their views are. And particularly, James Bloodworth mentions um, women and the, the kind of anti, the, the homophobic stuff as well that some of these people spout, that he would have, as a, a Labour politician, thought seriously about that before sitting down with them. And that is a reasonable thing to say, that he obviously did think seriously about it and obviously decided to sit there anyway. Justin, you don't know the life of a left-wing backbencher. You're often running from meeting to meeting to event to event. You what, turn up. You don't know, for instance... No, that... you, turn, you can turn up at events and people are on the platform that you didn't know were going to be on the platform. I'm saying it's easy in retrospect to say, why was Jeremy photographed next mm. to that person? Why did Jeremy go to that rally? Mm. I'm saying that in the totality, on these big movements, Jeremy has been on the right Side. Good example, what? though. And Hannah, Hannah said on yeah. that. So you make a reasonable point about you, you don't always know. But actually, on quite a few occasions, you do know very well. And he was down to speak in a conference in a day or two, which I think he's pulled out of, where there is a cartoonist who is accused of being an anti-Semite who's also going to be on the platform. He's pulled out of that. Now, that was known about, that the names are there, and he, ag- he had agreed to go and presumably knew who those people were. These allegations swirl about. All I well, no, it's not no, an but allegation, they, they it's do, a fact. No, they do there swirl about. There is a cartoonist about. at I'm, the conference that he... He had agreed to go to who draws cartoons of Israel as a kind of sea monster with its limbs around things and, and a swastika and course, on its face. Deeply course, offensive to Jewish people. He agreed not, to not go just, to the conference. Not just offensive to Jewish people, deeply offensive to Jeremy. I repeat. Well, why would nobody, you go then? Nobody, nobody could possibly argue, looking at Jeremy's career, that he's pro-anti-women politics, that he's pro-anti-Semitism, that he's pro-racism. And to try and build a case on the basis of guilt by association is very wrong. And it's stopping a genuine debate about the policies that Jeremy is trying to advance in this leadership election. And a genuine debate, James Ludworth, in which quite a few Labour supporters will think, well, it's about time we did talk about these things openly. For instance, uh, our policy towards Russia, our policy towards the European Union, Union. Our policy towards Saudi Arabia, which um, Jeremy Corbyn is, is much tougher on than most mainstream politicians of both parties. Yes, I mean, on Saudi Arabia, I'm absolutely in agreement with, with Jeremy Corbyn. Similarly, on many domestic issues, I do think that in this, in this country, um, we're witnessing a, a growth of really grotesque uh, inequality. But I don't, I still object to, to him sharing platforms with anti-Semites for the same, exactly the same reason that we all object to if conservative politicians or UKIP politicians share platforms with, with anti-Muslim bigots. It's exactly the same. It's, it's about consistency across the board. We've got to leave it there. James Bloodworth and Diana, I suppose I should say we, we don't know whether he was paid or not to take part on Press TV, but he did uh, take part on Press TV on a Press TV programme at least once. It's time for the weather forecast. John-